today we're going into uh, how to swap out your headers in the Weaver 2. Uh, I'm going to go on over to a uh, Weaver 2 um, theme here and you can see it says the piano theme sitting here and I believe that the uh, sub theme it's using is called shadow and I decided I like shadow. I really don't want the piano keys there. It doesn't really go with the uh, blog at all. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to change the header. You're going to go in the dashboard and you're going to go to appearance. And under appearance, because it'll, 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 um, when you do it'll come out and, and it'll show up more of the things underneath. See here it's all closed up. You go back to appearance and then you want to go to header. And there you can see that there are several headers that you could choose from. And let's say you want to use this one here with the moon and the clouds over it. Uh, you, doesn't matter which one you pick as long as one you want to have and then you go ahead and put that in there and then you refresh your page see what it looks like and there you go got a new header now there's some other things you can do here with the header too you have where it has um, random which shows a different um, image on each page and then you go ahead and if, if each change made you make sure you save changes so it'll take effect so over here, every time I refresh the page, I go to a new page, there should be a new header there. Like if I go to the About page, another picture, just refresh the page. And it's just really random, so sometimes the others will go around, but that's what the, uh, the random will do. Now if you have several pictures that you want and you want them to do that, uh, you could use the random feature, but you may want to change some things as to which ones are showing up here. And I'll get into that in another video here. Uh, because you may want just all of your customized ones here and just go around it between the ones that you want. Now, the next thing we're going into is how do you add a header? You can have a different one up here. This is the one that it was, uh, you know, if you check on one down here or whichever you check on, it's going to show up here. That must have just been the random one that was showing up there. If you look at this size, this would be a good size to have your picture. If your picture is not exactly that size, then it's going to crop it, but it may cut some off the top of the edges or some other way. Um, just, you know, it may not be cropped the way you want it. And so this will be the best way, but if it's not, it can still be cropped in there. Just realize you're going to be losing something on the edges. So what you do is you go ahead and you choose a file that you want to upload. Okay, now I don't have the pictures on my laptop here, these laptop here, these pictures are all ones from, uh, I just have new, um, I have not added the pictures and things to this, this is a laptop that I got when my other one started falling apart, so they're not on here yet, but I'm going to go ahead and just take a, one of these sample pictures here and we're going to uh, work with that. I'm going to go ahead and go into GIMP and I'm going to open a file. Okay, here I am with just one of the uh, sample images that came with the computer. And I'm just going to go ahead and write down here is a button that says open. This is using GIMP, the photo editing program that I have. And we need to make something from here to be the right size. As you can see here, we're, we're looking for something uh, 940 by 188. I'm just going to make a new, uh, uh, create a new one that size. Okay. I'm going to resize this one to 140, so it'll be the same width that I want. I click on resize and it's popped up. I put 940 in the width. We're going to sell it. Now I'm going to crop one that's 188 high. I went to tools and then on over to ones that change me. Anyway, I went up to the crop section. And I'm not going to use this picture. Uh, it's just one of the sample ones in there. This is just to kind of show you what, how it's going to work out. And you can see at the bottom it's got the sizes. Okay, now that I have the right size, I'm going to go ahead and crop it. And then I'll save it. Back in the dashboard, we're going to choose the, that file and upload. Okay, I got it saved. It should be uploading. And there you go. you got a new picture showing up. I'm not using this one, but have fun with this. Upload your pictures. Bye.